Today on our segment, Trade for Peace, Stories from the Front Line, I have the pleasure to welcome two Trade for Peace champions from Iraq, Ms. Alice Bosley and Ms. Nidal Sebri. Now over to you, Alice. Based on your background and your experiences today with 5-1 Labs, tell us, what does Trade for Peace mean to you? So I think when, when I think of the idea of Trade for Peace, it's about meaningful employment that allows people opportunities. You know, you don't have to worry about feeding your family. You don't have to get potentially involved with an armed group or corruption in order to get money because you are able to create your own job or find a job that works for you. You are able to have kind of wages. You're able to support your economy and your family. And so I think, you know, economic inclusion of, of everyone, um, you know, young people that can't find jobs, young people who have been displaced. Um, for us, that's what makes us tick. That's what we are very passionate and excited about. Over to you, Nido. What does trade for peace mean to you? Yes, uh, it means a lot because we are thirst for the peace in, 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 in my country. So we have to follow Every possible way in order to attain this uh, this security and this uh, um, this, this social peace and security in in, in my country. Uh, first of all, let's see what peace means. Peace is the opposite of conflict, and uh, a feeling of freedom from fear of violence between uh, individuals or groups or uh, states. Everybody knows that there is so uh, some sort of uh, of, uh, of peace. We have the social peace. Um, and we have the economic uh, uh, peace. Um, uh, in my opinion, that the drivers of any armed conflict, for example, is sometimes due to economic uh, conditions. Um, for example, the low income, the slow growth, and especially severe economic uh, down, uh, downturns. From my experience in, in WTO and uh, working in WTO affairs and uh, through all my career, 